Archaeology is a journey through time, piecing together the puzzles of the past. Like detectives, archaeologists rely on evidence to unravel mysteries and reconstruct history. One crucial tool in their arsenal is dating methods. These techniques allow us to establish a chronology of events, placing discoveries in context and understanding the relationships between different cultures and time periods. Without accurate dating, our understanding of the past would remain fragmented and incomplete. Dating methods act as bridges connecting the present to the past. They enable us to determine the age of artifacts, fossils, and even entire archaeological sites, providing a framework for understanding the evolution of human societies and the natural world. By establishing a timeline, we can trace the development of technologies, track migrations of people, and reconstruct ancient environments. Dating techniques are essential for constructing a narrative of the past, allowing us to comprehend the complexities of human history and the forces that have shaped our world. Among the array of dating methods used by archaeologists, electron spin resonance, ESR, dating, stands out as a particularly versatile and valuable technique. Unlike radiocarbon dating, which relies on the decay of carbon-14 and is limited to organic materials, ESR dating can be applied to a wider range of materials, including teeth, bones, shells, and even sediments. This versatility makes ESR dating an indispensable tool for archaeologists studying periods beyond the reach of radiocarbon dating, which has a limit of around 50,000 years. ESR dating is particularly well suited for dating materials from the Quaternary period, which spans the last 2.6 million years. This period is crucial for understanding human evolution, as it encompasses the emergence of our own species, Homo sapiens, and the development of early human cultures. ESR dating allows archaeologists to date key sites and fossils from this period, providing valuable insights into our origins and the development of human societies. Electron spin resonance dating might sound complex, but the underlying principle is surprisingly straightforward. It relies on the fact that certain materials like tooth enamel or bone naturally contain tiny imperfections within their crystal structures. These imperfections act as traps for electrons, which are subatomic particles with a negative charge. Over time, background radiation from the environment causes some of these trapped electrons to become excited and flip their spin. This process of electron spin flipping is influenced by the amount of radiation the material has been exposed to and the time that has elapsed since the material was buried. By measuring the number of electrons with flipped spins in a sample, scientists can determine the accumulated radiation dose. This dose, combined with an assessment of the local radiation environment, allows them to calculate the age of the sample. Think of it like a clock where the hands move at a rate determined by the background radiation. ESR dating is like reading the time on this natural clock, providing us with an estimate of how long the material has been buried.